Hey guys, Ben Sharples here to talk to you about the forehand grip. You have a few different options, Eastern, Semi-Western, and Full Western. The Eastern forehand grip is more of a classic grip. It allows you to hit the ball flatter, deeper, and you can hit through the ball easily with that grip. The challenging part is that it's tough to generate topspin and come over the top of the ball, especially on high balls. The other end of the spectrum, which is the more extreme full Western grip, which allows you to generate a lot of easy topspin. It's really easy to come over the top of the ball with that grip, and you're at an advantage on high balls with that grip. The problem is that it's tougher to flatten the ball out when you need to, and it's especially challenging to deal with low balls. So that leads us to the happy medium semi-western forehand grip, which is right in between the eastern and the full western grip, and it gives you the best of both worlds. It allows you to generate a lot of that easy top spin that you get with the full western, but at the same time, you can flatten it out when you need to, like you get with the Eastern forehand grip, and you can also deal with low balls when you need to. So you're able to hit a variety of shots with that grip, and you're able to deal with a gamut of situations with that grip. So that's the grip that I highly recommend, and that's the grip that is most commonly used by men and women on the Pro Tour. So, semi-western forehand grip is the way to go. Now let's take a look at the best way to find the semi-western forehand grip on your racket handle with the positioning of your hand. The easy way is to just put your racket on the ground and pick it up like you're picking up a frying pan, and that should roughly approximate the semi-western forehand grip. The bevel technique is a little bit more complicated but more precise, so if you think of this side as bevel one and then move clockwise to your right, bevel two, bevel three, and bevel four, if you line up your base index knuckle along bevel four, that'll give you the semi-western forehand grip. If you want to be even more precise about it, line up your heel pad and your base index knuckle both along bevel four, and that'll give you the semi-western forehand grip. For left-handed players, you're still starting at bevel one, but this time you're moving counterclockwise to the left. So bevel one, bevel two, bevel three, bevel four. If you line up your heel pad and your base index knuckle both along bevel four, you now have the semi-western forehand grip for left-handed players. This is Rafa Nadal's forehand grip. Speaking of players, Roger Federer is usually somewhere between Eastern and Semi-Western, and Novak Djokovic is somewhere between Semi-Western and Western. So it does not have to be exact. As long as you're in the neighborhood of just before Semi-Western, Semi-Western, and just past Semi-Western, you're good. It all depends on personal preference and how it feels on your arm. When holding your racket with this grip, and pretty much with any other grip as well, it's a good idea to have your index finger spread apart from your other fingers, kind of like you're holding a trigger. The amount of spread, big or small, is totally up to you, that's personal preference, but I recommend having at least some space between your index finger and your other fingers. This will give you more leverage, more range of motion, and more control of your racket. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.